Hi everyone, thank you for watching another video of mine. And here is the three things I learned this week. So without further ado, let's go straight into the business of the day. The first thing I learned this week is that focus is everything. Um, usually uh, in our church, we always have this uh, youth takeover service and we were having the last one for the year. So uh, the senior pastor and I decided that after the service, we we're going to have a time of relaxation where everybody comes together, we play games, have some food, you know, some refreshment just to make the last you take over service of the year, a memorable one. So we decided to get the table tennis board and a basketball ring. So we bought them and I was fixing them. But in the course of fixing them, I caught myself and I started bleeding. But prior to the time where the senior pastor pointed my attention to the fact that I was bleeding, I didn't know I was bleeding. I was doing everything the way it should be done. But it's all of a sudden caught my attention. He said, Daddy, you're bleeding. I said, no, I'm not bleeding. I said, I'm fine. He said, yes, you are bleeding. So I looked up and saw that I was actually bleeding. So I took a paper towel, cleaned myself up, and then I decided to go back to work, start fixing, you know, uh, the rim. But only this time I started feeling pain. I couldn't hold the tools like I used to anymore. And I told him that, look, prior to the time that you told me that I was being, I was doing pretty well. But right now, since you told me that I was being and my attention and my focus was on the court, I started feeling the pain. And there, the Holy Spirit said to me, that's exactly how we people we behave. You know, most of the time, if our attention is focused on the right thing, if our attention is focused on the good things in our life, if our attention is focused on the great things that are happening in our life, the evil things, the bad things, the sad things, Lord, we not make any difference in our life. We not stop about what do we do? The moments we take our attention and focus from the good stuff in our life and we start focusing on the bad stuff, that's when the bad stuff takes charge of our life. And that takes me, you know, to one scripture, uh, in the Bible, uh, that's Philippians 4, verse 8. I will read it. said, Finally, brothers, whatever things that are true, whatever things that are honorable, whatever things that are just, whatever things that are pure, whatever things that are lovely, whatever things that are of good report, if there's any virtue and if there's any praise, think on those things. I mean, if there's nothing that is telling us to be more focused on something that is good than this, then I don't know it. So, brethren, focus on the good thing because focus is everything. What you focus upon will eventually take preeminence in our life, will eventually take hold of you. And the second thing that I learned this week is that don't ever underestimate anyone. And I learned that lesson brutally this week. You know, still on the takeover youth service that we were going to have, uh, the last takeover youth service that we were going to have for the uh, for the year. And uh, in the course of fixing the table tennis uh, board, and me and my pastor was, you know, arguing with each other, said, I was better at playing ping pong or table tennis as you might have it. And I said, I was going to beat and I was, you know, bragging and telling him that there's no way that you're going to beat me. And he kept saying, I'm, a, I'm very good at it. I'm going to beat that. I said, no, nope, you're not going to beat me. Ali. It, I was so confident of myself that I was told to come and make an announcement about the program, the after party, after program, after the service on church. And I said it openly in front of everybody that I'm challenging the pastor that I was going to beat him and ping pong. And, you know, everybody was like, yeah, let's see you. I mean, this game, let's, let's see who's going to win. And then to cut the long story short, <laughs> we started the game and he beat me three sets to none. Three said I couldn't win a set. He beat me in front of any, everybody. You can imagine the shame. And then, and I was <laughs> eating my humble pie. And the Holy Spirit said to me, He said, That's exactly the way we do in life. How, how often do we go in life unprepared? How often do we go into businesses, go into things, go into issues, not knowing everything, thinking that by our own abilities, by our own wisdom, by our own academical excellence we can achieve things we can get things done i learned this lesson this week in the most humble way that you never ever underestimate an opponent you don't ever ever underestimate any project that you want to get yourself truly prepared if you're going to face any opposition you're going for any exams you are going for any interview prepare yourself adequately because if you don't you might just be defeated like I was defeated and humbly, you know, 
brought down by my pastor in the course of the game. And the last thing and the third thing that I learned this week is going to be taken from the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 and it says, I know the thought that I have towards you, thought of good and not of evil, says the Lord, to bring you to an expected end. You know, most of the time we go to God with our plans, we go to God with what we want, we go to God with this is what I want. We bombard him with what we think he should do for us. But that verse taught me a very important lesson this week that it's not about what I want. There's a plan in store already. What I need to do or what we need to do is to find out what that plan is. What we should be asking God is that what is your plan for my life? What is your plan for me concerning this situation, this business? What is your plan for this business? It is until we know his plan for our life, that is when the good stuff in me will come. Not bringing our own plans to him. And that kind of stuck me this week. I was like, little wonder I've been feeling, little wonder I've been hitting a snack. Most of the time or all of the time is what I do is go to God with my plan. And Jeremiah 29, 11 broke it down to me. He said, no, this, this ain't about me. This ain't about my plan. It's about this. And he said, for I know the thought that I have towards you. I know the plans that I have for you. Not your plan. He said, my plans to bring you to the end that I have thought of. Not the ones that you want. And that got me thinking, wow, that's true. All I need to do or all we need to do is to kick him into his plan. Find out what his plans are for our life. And when we do it according to his own plan, that is when we will get the desired result. And that goes my three things that I learned this week. And if this video has blessed you, feel free to share it or leave a comment for me in the comment section below. Or, you know, give me an idea of what you want this video to be about. I'm so glad that you're watching this. And until next time, like I keep saying, be only that which God wants you to be. Amen.